I'm Lauren Rusa and we're out here with 5th Regiment at the Land Navigation Course. There are many events during cadet summer training that cadets must accomplish during their summer training at Fort Knox, Kentucky. Today, 5th Regiment takes on their second day of the Land Navigation Course and Cadet Sahil Patel explains what that entails. So the Land Nav Course we did today is about, I think, 90 points and every cadet gets a different map. So during the day there's about five points that we're supposed to look at and at night there's three points that we're trying to find. So we're using compasses to shoot azimuths and protractors to plot charts. The experience cadets have while on the course varies. Cadet Dylan Long may not be the strongest in the event, but he explains how being able to have two days on the course really allows for his skills to grow. I usually struggle with land nav, so on uh, the practice land nav I was a little nervous uh, coming out here, but after yesterday I became more confident and familiar with the course, so I came out here today, you know, did my breathing exercises, I was a lot more calm and ready to take on the day, and thankfully I found five out of five points. Land nav serves many purposes for cadets while at CST, not only as an essential skill, but also within the field. Cadet Carson Sifford gives insight as to why land nav is so crucial. This is a good opportunity for people to get out here and learn how to find their points or even find where they need to be. So when we go to the field and we need to get to our objective, uh, knowing that location and knowing how to get there is going to really help speed up the time frame. The land nav course may be large and the journey to points may be long. But cadets at CST make the most of the event and take the opportunity to grow and learn as a part of the training process at CST.